that's no coyote. Mm -mm. That's exactly what they did when you were going over there to get the heater. Really? Yes. And you hear it, right? It sounds like it's coming from over there. It's coming from that side. I never do. That's why. But I should have been able to hear that over my engine. Hope you guys heard that. <laughs> we're sitting here playing Rummy Cube and... That's it. I'm sleeping in your bag, but I am leaving. She's literally pulled up to my door because we heard this the other night. Those are no coyotes. Those mm -hmm. are wolves. Mm -hmm. And she went over to get the buddy heater that she has because mine, I tried plugging it in and for some reason the grommet on the hose is gone. So it was hissing propane. So it's definitely not safe mm -hmm. to use. So yeah, she went over to get that and she was over there and I heard that same thing happening when she was over there. I didn't hear them at <laughs> all. I'm on the other side. I had my car running, you know, because I had my lights on. It was like, I'm going to make noise. Right. I don't want nothing coming I, around me. I could have sworn she would have been able to hear it. If I heard it, I would have stayed there and go, sorry, I'm not afraid to freeze your ass tonight. <laughs> You're on your own, girl. <laughs> I ain't coming back. <laughs> but I hope the camera picked that up, you guys. No kidding you, there's wolves here. Uh -huh. If I hear him again, I'll try and get another clip. That's some crazy shit. I saw something <laughs> run through the forest. Yeah, though, she saw I, something. I had this huge-ass flashlight. Where's my flashlight? Where's your badass flashlight? She bought this for like $19 and change thing, at Walmart. you can see like 100 feet. Yeah, you can <laughs> see into the stars. <laughs> and, and I... But this wasn't on, actually. I was looking the whole time, you know, making sure there's no, no wolves around me. But then I saw flash with my headlights when I was pulling back out. And I go, what was that just ran in the forest? Yeah, they were going nuts when you were over there. Like yeah. the whole time. I think that was a wolf joining the rest of the pack. Oh, good Lord. That's Damn. crazy. That's crazy. You see why we're freaked mm -hmm. out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd be hooting and hollering over the hair and calling yeah, the rest of their they pack were, over. They were on that side the other mm -hmm. night, and this time they're on that side. But yeah, we're playing some Rummy Cube. That's it, the butterfly. I'm I got her over. completely addicted to Rummy Cube, by the way. So, yeah. So, yeah, we just wanted to share the wolves with you guys. Yeah. If we hear them again, I'll try and catch them on camera. You got hot dogs? I can throw them when I'm walking to my. <laughs> You got some good food. I got a refrigerator. I can't keep meat. Well, you got sausages or something? I got to throw them some meat sandwiches in the back of my out. rig. Oh my god. Who am I gonna give back? I'm gonna distract her and get her back into Rummy Cube. Thank well, God I drove we'll over see. tonight. Yeah, she literally pulled up to the doorstep. <laughs> there's, there's no there's, ways I'm walking there's no the way. forest at night. Yeah. Oh God. We're good. We're good. We got each other's bags. I'm gonna have to run fast. <laughs> yeah, from your rig to my car. Run. All out. It's five feet of distance. <laughs> I wish I had a damn ambulance to turn the lights on. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i don't blame her man if i had to do that i would be freaked I'm out scared. too scared oh my gosh i'm scared just listening to him mm -hmm. i'm not going out i won't go out there I'll, I'll go out there for you and i'll shine my light but... yeah who's that guy with the flamethrower man and maybe i need one of those <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> it's not gonna weapon. i didn't even bring my walking stick Oh, yeah. okay. I'll, I'll let you borrow my aluminum bat for the night. Okay, that'll work. I'll feel confident with okay. that. Okay, that yeah, I can do okay. that much. Okay, borrow borrow my Mr. Buddy heater. Yeah. I borrow your bat. <laughs> Girl, power. we got it worked out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I just want to share the walls with you guys. See you later. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> breakfast again today's the day i go and switch my registration over and i'll be registered in arizona and i'm looking for everything i need so she brought this over to my door isn't she freaking awesome i love it just wanted to show you guys hey y'all so i know it's really dark but i'm doing a test with the mr buddy heater um, I'll give you a little backstory. I've used the canisters before and I've used them on low and I've never seen flames come out of the front. Now, maybe I'm just paranoid because I'm afraid of fire. <laughs> it's my biggest fear. But <clears throat> something tells me it's not supposed to do that. So I've been using a 20 pound propane tank with a uh, gifted hose and didn't realize until it was too late that it wasn't a Mr. Buddy hose. But 
it's been working fine up until last night when um, it sprang a leak and it sounded like it was coming from the connection itself. So I'm doing a test right now because Tina had the green cylinders. So they had asked me a question tonight of if it does it with the green cylinders and I haven't used the green cylinders in so long I couldn't remember but half the time I can't remember what I ate for breakfast so you know. So yeah that's why it's dark because I want you guys to see this. I'm going to show you how it is on high and then I'm going to put it on low and I'm going to flip you guys around I think. Yeah so you can actually see it good. So hold on a second. This is the only way I could angle it where it actually shows you every little diamond and you can kind of see the flint, the little blue flame on the bottom. Now this is on high and this is with one of the little blue propane canisters and I never really run it on high because it only lasts one night on a one pounder especially if you run it on high it takes a lot of propane. So I've actually made it last two nights on one little green bottle of propane just by using it only on low. So that's what I'm used to. So now I'll go over there and I'll switch it to low and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Pretty sure it's low, wait a minute. And I'm doing this in the dark guys because I want you to see what I see. And granted I don't have to sit here in the dark to see it. But in order for the camera to pick it up, it definitely needs to be in the dark somewhat. See? You see the flames? Right? Where's my camera? Right at the top. You see the flames coming off the top? Watch right up here. And you'll see actual flames coming. And this gets a lot, lot bigger. I think I messed up the focus. Or is that just me? Wow, that's weird. Looks like a different kind of writing now. Now that it's on low. I'm trying to get it to focus better, guys. I think that's the best we're going to get. I'm going to... Oh, too much. Alright, so I want you to watch and tell me that you see these flames too. I really hope this shows up. It's been scaring the crap out of me. I don't usually ever take my eyes off this thing when I'm running it, and I definitely will not run it when I'm sleeping. And I hope you still keep an eye on the top for flames, and even on the, little the red pad itself, flames occasionally will come up. But it only seems to do it on low. And it doesn't matter because it does the same exact thing with the 20 pound propane tank. Now I know I'm supposed to use the official Mr. Buddy hose, which I did get today, but it's only 5 feet. And I want to be able to put my buddy heater inside and be able to run the hose from the propane tank, which I'd like to put on the back bumper when I get that shelf built. So that it's safer. Because right now I don't really have a choice. I have nowhere else to put it. So, yeah. Um... But everybody has been telling me all winter that I need to use it with a fuel filter. Now, I'll include some pictures of a label where that green tank goes, and it gives you two, two hose number, like, part numbers, and both of them you're supposed to use with this buddy heater with a regulator or fuel filter. One of the two. Um, but yeah, I mean, what if it's the fuel filter? I... There's nothing listed on the actual buddy heater saying it has a built-in regulator. Nothing. So, yeah, you see that flame? God, it's not coming out anywhere close on camera as it is on the buddy heater. But this is why I'm scared of my buddy heater, and because it's my biggest fear is fire. And this is all I have left in the world, so... Um, yeah, that would, that would totally suck. I have nothing left to sell. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering if this buddy heater is supposed to do that or not, because everybody tells me it's not supposed to do that. It doesn't do it on high, just on low. But it doesn't matter if it's a one pound propane tank or the 20 pound propane tank. God, I wish it would show up better.
It's really not showing up like it is for me, guys. Sorry. I could do it like that. Maybe. Usually closer up, I can get a much better, clearer shot. So that's why I'm trying to get closer up and not have to zoom in so much. See the flames on the pad itself? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get a better angle. But I really need some opinions on this. Anyone who actually has a buddy heater and has wondered about this or knows this problem. See, you can see the blue flame on the top of the pad. I know it's really hot and it's going to be that way, but there's actually red flame that comes out of it at times. Kind of like you're watching a campfire or a fireplace. And I've been told it's not supposed to do that. So I'm wondering if it really does need a fill filter, if it needs a regulator with the hose, and, yeah, everybody seems to have different stories with this thing. And if you need it and if you don't, but it's, if it's written on the, the machine itself, I'm pretty sure it actually means what it says. So, yeah, uh, any opinions would be wonderful. See it? On the top and the pad itself, it turns red flame. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But I have bought, I did buy this thing back in 2015. When I got the buddy hose today, the part number doesn't match up to the part, any of the part numbers for the hoses on the actual Mr. Buddy. So I don't know what to think. I don't know if they changed part numbers on me, improved the system. Now the buddy heaters do have all built in regulators in them, but maybe they didn't back in 2015, you know? Yeah, this thing freaks me out. But this is a seven minute video. I wanted you guys to see it. I'm telling you, I don't think it's supposed to do that. So if anybody can explain to me why it does that on low, but doesn't really do it on high, please leave it in the comments. I'm dying to know. I just want to be safe there. The safest I can be when it comes to this. See the flame on the top? I just saw another one. So I know you guys can see that too. So let me know in the comment section what you think. I would love to know. Yeah guys, so I hope you saw what I see. I don't even take my eyes off that thing when it's running. And I, there's no way in hell I'm running it while I'm sleeping. Um... Yeah, that's what scares me so much about it. It has flames, and I don't remember it doing that when I first bought it, but that was so long ago. And I don't know if I am need some kind of, like, like... I found this special hose on Amazon, and it's a 15-foot, so I could pretty much run it in here and however I wanted to so that I could keep the propane tank on the bumper and the body heater wherever I want in here, where it's safe. There's not a lot of places in a tiny space like this, so... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I need a regulator to regulate that when it's on the 20-pound tank connected with a hose. Or if I don't need it. Or if I need uh, the fuel filter or not. Because it says a certain hose you don't need a fuel filter with, but then the fuel filter has... I'll include pictures. you see the part number in yellow little box on the right-hand side and... It doesn't match to any of the hoses that the Mr. Buddy recommends, so that leaves me confused. So yeah, if you guys know anything about it and can help me figure this out, I would really appreciate it. Let me know if you saw the flames or if I'm just being paranoid because I'm terrified of fire. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Love you guys and peace out.
There are three of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are so cute. I knew there was a third. Now I see it because they were all at the feeder at the same time. That is so cute. One's like, I ain't leaving, man. I ain't scared. I just refilled it again, guys. It was empty this morning, so I just put it out again. They were so excited when I put that out. <laughs> like, they barely like gave me a chance to hang it. It kept coming really close and hovering in my face. It was really cute. Oh. <laughs> He's sliding on my mirror. Oh, that's so cute. They do laps around the RV. It's so funny because they're making that sound they make. And you can hear them go all, all the way around. And they're flying like so fast. Too cute. So I believe there's two males and one female. And they are loving my bird feeder. That one's really thirsty. <laughs> I've never seen him stay that long. See you later. Hope you enjoy. Oh.